We went to Mexico. And we're gonna show you how to save big money on eyeglasses, prescriptions, and dental work. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz Amazing and this is Paul. These are exciting times to push through fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you're definitely going to need to push through fear if you're thinking about going to Mexico to save money on drugs, dental work, and eyeglasses. In this video, we will share with you all the do's and don'ts of traveling to Mexico, including where to go, how to get there, what to take with you, and what to bring back. We went to the town of Los Algodones, which specializes in offering dental, eyeglass, and prescription products and services to Americans. We will give you specifics on how to get to Los Algodones, where to park, as well as general information which may apply to other areas of Mexico. <laughs> so we have been across the border to Mexico, what, five or six times? Yeah. Yeah, and then you went a time before we got together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some dental work done over there. What'd you get done? I had a uh, cleaning and uh, ca a cavity filled yeah. for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for cleaning and a cavity. That's awesome. And then you got glasses over there. Yeah, I got a pair of glasses that uh, they're progressive and um, what's progressive? Progressive is like a bifocal but no line, and and they're anti glare and uh, they're also transition so they darken in the, the in the sunlight. And they were 165 bucks for this pair. So, for everything? For everything. Yeah. Wow. And I paid twice that here in the States a couple of years ago. I bet. I paid 700 And you paid twice that at Costco. At Costco, yeah. yeah. I've talked to people that have paid over $1,000 for a pair of glasses. Right. And there's lots of selection there. And then I got... Um, so I have a few prescriptions. And I just ta brought my prescriptions over there. And... Um, I saved a ton too. Right. I mean, it was it was just, yeah. you don't even need a prescription. That's what was so cool about going to the pharmacist. You don't need a prescription and you can get a year's supply. And they also have um, ibuprofen at a much higher dosage than you will find here in the States. Here we can get only 200 milligram dosage. And, and there I picked up a bottle of 100, 800 milligram uh, ibuprofen for $5. Yeah, and then we got some amoxicillin too, and that was pretty cheap. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's something that you yeah. need a prescription for in the States, but we were able to get it. It's an antibiotic, and it was, what, like $5 a pack or something? like that. Yeah, yeah, it was very cheap. Now, you're not going to find any Class C narcotics over there, you know, Vicodin or Oxycontins or Oxycodone, whatever. Morphine. <laughs> whatever those things yeah. are. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but pretty much everything else is I'm available. sure you can get blood pressure medicine. Um, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of just, you know, regular, regular medications you can get. There's a new medication that I take that they don't have, but just the regular run of the mill stuff they do. And um, yeah, way cheaper. Way. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we got our teeth cleaned for 20 bucks, right? Yeah. All right. So here's what you need before you go. First of all, you need a passport or an EDL driver's license. And an EDL is an enhanced driver's license. It's only available in five states currently here in the United States. Uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Vermont, New York, and Washington are the only states. If you have one, yeah, I'm sure you, you know you have one. Right. Um, Real ID is not an enhanced driver's license. Uh, most of you probably already have that star, that gold star in the, in the corner of your driver's license for real ID. That won't get you back into the U.S. Absolutely. And if you are going to take your dog with you, you need to have proof of rabies vaccination that is current and a health certificate. Also, guns are not allowed across the border. And you need cash, American cash, no pesos. You actually can use a credit card, but there'll be a surcharge and a credit card won't be accepted at most places. And check to see if your phone will work while you're in Mexico. Yeah, there are international plans. We have one. It wasn't activated for whatever reason, and we had to call Verizon and get it activated. <music> If you're going to Los Algodones, then you'll likely be coming from Yuma, Arizona on Interstate 8. I want to let you know that I wrote all the details in the description so you don't have to write this down while you're watching. So you'll cross barely into California where you'll take exit 166. 
you will park and walk across the border, but there's a specific parking lot for getting into Mexico. Now, getting there is a little tricky, which is why we made this video. It is about a mile and three quarters, give or take, to get to the parking once you leave the interstate. And some things to know. Try to go on a weekday where it will be less busy. The border crossing hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And we suggest you arrive early, like 8 or, or 9 o'clock. Los Algodones is supposed to be on Pacific time, California time, but all the stores that we went into actually are on Yuma time, which is mountain time. To find the parking lot, look for the last U-turn sign. The parking fee is $6 cash and it is big rig friendly. We drove the truck so it may be more if you bring your camper, but it is a breeze to get in and park. So you just walk across the border, but it's not far. This is Mexico on the other side of the fence. Carry with you your cash, passport, a water bottle, your current prescription bottles so the drug clerks can match them. Now we've done it five or six times now and every time there has not been any official on the Mexican side. No one to greet us, to check us or anything. That means no one to remind you that you need your passport to get back out. Expect to be greeted by several people wanting to help you find a dentist or get glasses or even hearing aids. This is neither good or bad, we have used their help. If you walk one or two blocks further into Mexico, the prices get cheaper, but the selection goes down. There's definitely a carnival atmosphere going on in the town of Los Algodones. In addition to dental, pharmacy and eyewear services, you will see plenty of street vendors and stores, all trying to sell their wares to the Americans. You can get eyeglasses made in two hours or less. There are at least half a dozen optical stores in the first block or two from the border. Most offer full service from the exam, frames and lenses, all for under $200. While you're waiting for your glasses to be made, go ahead and get your teeth cleaned. No appointment needed. We found the dental services to be as good as any experience we've had in the U.S. When visiting pharmacies, we recommend you price shop before buying. Remember, prices get cheaper just a block or two further from the border, but the selection also goes down. The U.S. allows you to bring back one year's supply of medications. When you walk back across, customs will ask you what you bought. Be sure you say medications, not drugs. We found that the lines to come back through the border start forming at about noon and, and the longest we waited was about 30 minutes. If you like this video, you'll love the next one about how to pick the right camper for you.